Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Maddie. Um, if you hear any noise in the background, I apologize. Uh, we just had new neighbors move in and I think they're kind of like, what's the word? Doing stuff inside their house, like renovating or something. So if you do hear like a machine going off, I'm sorry, there's nothing I can do about it. This is the only time I have to film today or really this week. So I have to do this video and get it out of the way. Um, but yeah, today's video is going to be on my top Louis Vuitton items. Um, this is my personal opinion and this is, or these are things that I feel like if you're a luxury lover, if you're a Louis Vuitton lover, you should have in your collection um, just because they're great products or like they're amazing items and um, they're gonna serve like a great purpose in your collection. Um, but before I get into that, my name is Maddie. If you're new, welcome. I feel mostly luxury related videos. So if you're interested in everything luxury related, I would appreciate it if you join my little YouTube family by hitting the subscribe button down below. And if you're not new, shout out to you. You're a real one. So I have everything laid out on the floor beside me right here. And I think I'm going to start with SLGs. Um, but yeah, without further ado, I'm not going to ramble on too much. I'm just going to get right into the video. So the first thing that I have is the Louis Vuitton Key Clay or the key pouch so it's a key pouch of the clay i think the official name is a key pouch but people call it the clay um and this is or can be used as a key holder so it does have this little thing right here and um i do have my house key attached onto it i got mine in the monogram canvas i did have this i bought this well i did buy the damier azure one in january last year i did not like well i just i don't like the azure print but i just figured um as someone who owns a lot of Louis Vuitton items and I do have a couple of um, monogram pieces and Damier Ebing pieces I wanted to add the Azor to my collection and I just figured since it was an SLG and it was so small it wouldn't bother me it did bother me so I ended up selling that and um, I got this I want to say like a month ago I got this um, in December last year and um, I do I do have the six key holder and I do think that it's great but um, I like this one um, better than I like the key holder just because um, I can put cards in here without worrying that it's going to stretch it out. So I do have my key fob inside. My key fob is a little like it's, it's kind of huge. Um, and then I do have my driver's license. I have a Metro card in here and um, I have a credit card in here, which I'm not going to show. Um, so, yeah, usually this is what I carry. Um, just to like for a quick errand or just to run out of the house i i take this just because it has my license and it has um a credit card that i can use to pay for whatever i want to pay for um but i just really do feel like this is kind of better than the six key holder i mean you can put um you can put cards behind the thing of the six key holder but i do get worried that it's going to stretch it out so i barely um, do that and this is slimmer um, just because of how fat or like chunky my key fob is and with all the keys that I put I just felt like the six key holder was a little too chunky and um, Yeah, I have a lot of small bags as you guys can see so this just fits a lot better than um, It doesn't take up um, as much space as the six key holder does and again, it's very versatile You can put your keys in it. You can use it as a card holder. You can use it as a catch-all I've seen people use this as like pretty much you can use this for anything for the most part so I would definitely recommend and you get the key clay or the key pouch um, in whatever canvas that you would like. So the next SLG that I'm going to talk about is the Louis Vuitton Victorine wallet. Um, I know bigger bags are making a comeback but I just feel like this is still the perfect size wallet for a small bag, for a um, big bag. It doesn't matter the size of your bag. Well obviously this is not really going to, it's going to fit in a mini bag. I do think it fits in my, it does fit in my YSL um, Toy Lulu. I don't think I've tried to put it inside the Chanel bag to see if it fits, but I just feel like it's a decent size compact wallet. Um, I like that it folds and you can fit. It's this is literally a full size wallet, but like it's very compact and it doesn't take up too much space. Um, I got this in January last year. I haven't really used it that much. If you watched my um, best and worst luxury purchases of 2019 this was on my worst list not because i don't love this wallet but just because i'm more of a card holder kind of girl right now um and i really don't carry that much with me on a daily basis um so i don't really reach for this but if i am using like my nerveful or my speedy or like a bigger bag my antigona or like the longchamp bag i do kind of tend to take this with me even though i still take my card holder with me right now this just houses like my costco card my macy's card um a top golf card 
just random cards that I don't really need on a daily basis. I don't remember the last time I went to Costco. I think that's actually expired too. Um, so yeah, I just put like cards that I don't reach for on a daily basis in here. But like I said, it's the perfect size wallet. It does have um, the slot for cash. I do have a full review on this wallet that I did sometime last year i'll link it up here in the cards somewhere and it does have like this little compartment like this little zipper compartment for coins as well so it just has like a compartment for everything that you could possibly need cards cash um coins everything all in one and the price isn't that bad i think it retails for 545 dollars last time i checked it may have gone up um but yeah this is another louis vuitton I, why do i keep saying louis vuitton this is another louis vuitton item that i think everyone needs in their collection so the next item that i'm going to talk about come as no surprise to you guys i do have a review on this as well and i've talked about this for way too long um it's a louis vuitton mini pochette and i do have mine in the monogram canvas as well i've had this since 2018 i think i've had this since 2018 um i don't use it as much anymore because like i said i barely carry a lot of things so i just take my key clay and i'm good to go right now but let me tell you i use this mini pochette for like a whole year straight this was all i would carry with me if i was going to the mall if i was going it doesn't matter where i'm going to if i'm going out with my friends like this is like a nice dinner like clutch or something um i just like to be hands free and i don't like when i have so much going on with my hands because like i need my hands um but yeah i've raved on about this i have a full i have like two videos almost dedicated to this on my channel i'll link them up as well or like put them in the description box down below um you can use this as a wallet you can use this as a catch-all you can use this as a bag obviously it's going to be a mini bag it's not going to fit like a full-size wallet um actually let me see see the victory wallet fits in here you can use this for pretty much whatever you want to use it for i've used it as a cosmetic pouch i put makeup in it i put like lotion hand sanitizer like a card holder in here like i've just thrown my keys i've put a lot of things in here and i just feel like this is a great item to have because it's so multifunctional and it's very versatile you can use it I've, I've got my money's worth already and i've only had it for two years i feel like the first year i got my money's worth already just because like i use it every year i don't use it as much anymore just because like i said i i reach for my key clay more often right now and um i think i'm actually gonna start using it now just because like i had this inside i had it like in the dust bag and everything for a couple of it's been a while so i think i'm actually gonna bring this back out and use it but this retails for 310 plus tax if i remember i'm not sure i feel like some prices have gone up um with Louis Vuitton but I'm not sure if this is one of them but yeah this is another item that I feel like everyone should have in their Louis Vuitton collection I think I have one more SLG and it's the toiletry 19 so I have this only comes in the monogram canvas I believe yeah I don't think this comes in any other canvas or leather I might be wrong but anyway I have it in the monogram canvas I got this maybe in April last year so I haven't had it for a year yet um I think the 19 is a perfect size I've mentioned this before I think the 15 is kind of like for me just because i have the mini pochette i feel like the 15 and this they're quite similar in size and maybe the 15 fits a little more i'm not sure but um i just feel like the 19 is a perfect size the 26 is more for like travel like it's it's, it's huge so if you travel a lot and like you want to put your makeup stuff inside then that's great but i have the toiletry 19 and i really don't think i'm gonna do the trifecta um so if you're only gonna go with one size, like I've said before, I would go with the 19. Um, but again, it, it depends on like personal preference or like what you're gonna use it for. Um, I have the 19 and um, I'm currently using it. So I have a lot in it. I'm using it as kind of like a catch-all. I have tissue in it. I have like a face mist spray. I have lotion, I have perfume, I have a mirror. I have a whole bunch of perfume in here. I have a uh, Kylie, what is it? Lip, liquid lipstick or whatever it is a lip kit i just have a whole bunch of stuff inside i have hand sanitizer and i have pain meds in here what i do love about this is the wipeable interior so because i do use this as a makeup um bag like an overnight or like a weekender or um or like a weekender makeup bag um currently i only use concealer on my face i don't put foundation on anymore i just use concealer and powder so this fits everything that i need um maybe except like an eyeshadow palette like a full-size eyeshadow palette um so i would just carry that separate but um i definitely had like a few spills inside and you just need like um 
honestly I feel like water and like a cotton pad would wipe things off or you can use like a makeup remover or like micellar water or like a so any kind of wipe really would clean the inside. I love that the inside is cleanable or it's wipeable and um, that just saves me a lot. This retails for, I want to say like $400 and um, again, you can use this as everything. I see people, I'm not sure if it's this size or the 26, but I see people use this as a clutch. I haven't done that yet. Um, but that's the thing with like a lot of SLGs, not just Louis Vuitton, but mostly Louis Vuitton. Like they're very versatile and you can use them for like a whole bunch of different things. Um, so yeah, I use, I'm currently using this as a catch-all, but during, during the weekend, if I'm going to like my friend's house for um, the night or for the weekend, I would put, if I'm going anywhere for the weekend or for the night, I would put like makeup and everything in here. Um, I put skincare stuff in here as well. So it's pretty versatile and um, yeah, I love how it looks. I just like how like the monogram is and again, I love the wipeable interior. So this is the last SLG that I have. So we're gonna move on to bags. Um, I do have a total of four bags. I do have three in my collection and one I still don't have. Um, most of them are classics, I wanna say. I don't have like any recent bag um, on it. They're mostly classics. So the first one is the Alma BB and I got mine in Damier. Bean. Um, this comes in Damier. I mean, it comes in a monogram as well and a whole bunch of leathers. I don't think they make this in Azor. I haven't seen that yet. Um, it does have the um, red interior because it's Damier Bean and it does come with a strap. I do have it stuffed right now with air paper. Um, I've, I feel like I've raved on about this bag. I might do a review on it sometime in the future. Comment in the comment section down below if you want me to suit, if you want me to do a review. Um, but like I unboxed this or did like a reveal on the bag, and it was part of my best purchases for 2019. Even though I got it more towards the end of the year, I got it in September. Like I've said before it's a small bag, but it definitely fits a lot. And um, there's so many pros to this bag. Um, there's a couple of cons. I just feel like the zipper and like the tarnishing or like the distortion of the bag um, is a con for me. And then how long the strap is is a con for me. So I don't really use it with the strap. But um, it's such a classic bag and it comes in an array of sizes. I think there's a BB, there's a PM. I don't think they make the MM anymore, which is like a huge bag, um, which is like a bigger, bigger um, size. I think the BB is a perfect size. Um, and I think it's I don't want to say it's more classic because I'm sure the PM is classic as well, but I just like the BB size better. Um, but you can't go wrong. We can't go wrong with um, any size. Um, it's just an amazing bag to have. I love the silhouette. I love how it looks. I love that it has like the leather on the bottom and I love that it has feet on the bottom as well. And just the contrast of the black, I mean the brown leather on the canvas and then like the gold hardware the gold hardware i don't know i just love how it looks so i think the alma bb is a great bag to have um in your louis vuitton collection so the next bag i'm going to talk about is a highly sought after bag and it's the pochette matisse um i got mine in the regular monogram all over it does come in reverse monogram and it comes in a whole bunch of leather i think it comes in like epi no maybe like emprunt leather i think um but yeah i got mine in the regular monogram i got this last year Oh, it's almost, it's going to be almost a year. I got it around Valentine's Day last year and it's almost Valentine's Day as well. So I've had this for almost a year now. I love this bag. Um, I did spray with Apple Guard, so I don't have like any water marks on it because I have taken it out in the rain. Um, if you watch my vlog that I did like a month ago, I did have this with me and it was raining. I don't know why. Um, but yeah, I really love this bag. It definitely fits a lot. I do have it stuffed with air paper and I have the strap inside. It has three compartments and it fits a lot. I think that's like, if it's not a small bag, I need it to be like, I need to look small but then fit a lot um, if it's not a mini bag. Um, I feel like this bag is like a love hit. People either love it or they hate it. I don't think I know anyone who hates it. I feel like a lot of people love it. Um, it's not really oversaturated, just like the Neverfull, but it's a great bag to have in your collection if you're a Louis Vuitton lover. I just love how it looks, and um, I feel like you can't go wrong with the um, Pochette Matisse. And then the last bag that I have with me that I'm going to talk about is the controversial Neverfull. And I say controversial just because, like, I know a lot of people say, oh my god, everybody has it. It's so oversaturated. Like, everywhere I go, I see someone with it. It's that way for a reason. The Neverfull is a great bag to have, in my personal opinion. It's a classic bag. You can't go wrong with this. It comes in Damier Bean, Azor. It comes in Monogram, obviously. And I do think it comes in leather. 
and then they release it with like all the collections that they do there's like different types um but i just think i have mine in the mm size i think the gm is a little too big and i don't think anyone owns a pm to be fair i don't think i've ever seen anyone with the pm but i think the mm is a perfect size for me and um it's just a great bag like it's an easy bag to have when you're traveling it fits a lot i've used this as an overnight bag i've used this as a weekend bag it just fits a lot so it's just like why not get it and for the price um, compared to like a, a whole lot of other luxury items this is pretty cheap so i feel like people complain about how like the neverfull is like all over like everybody has it but everybody has it for a reason so you should jump on that bad on that bandwagon as well and get yourself a neverfull and the last bag that i'm going to talk about which i don't have in my collection is the nano speedy or the speedy nano um i just think it's like a classic bag it kind of reminds me of the Louis Vuitton, of the Chanel mini bags like the rectangular or the square it's like a mini version of like a classic bag and then it has a strap um so it just it kind of reminds me of the of the classic speedy or like the speedy b um but yeah i just think it's a great bag to have it's a fun bag it looks like it fits a lot and um it doesn't come with the adjustable strap or a removable strap which kind of sucks but either way i do have it on my wish list it's pretty much impossible to find it's never available online and People never have it in store, but I'm determined I'm going to get that bag um, eventually sometime in the future. But I think you can't go wrong with the Speedy Nano. Um, the mini bag trend is still going strong and um, it's mini, but it seems like it fits a lot, which is great. So if you notice, I didn't talk about my uh, my classic Speedy. I didn't add this to the list. I do think the Speedy, either in the speed, like the Bandolier or the Classic, is a great bag to have. I'm just personally struggling with the Speedy. Um, I have my, mine's a Classic, and um, let me pull it up. Um, mine's a Classic, and um, yeah, I'm kind of struggling with this bag. I'm not loving it right now. I just feel like it's falling apart. Um, I do have um, a bag organizer in it, but I just feel like this. Like this part is lower. I don't know. I just feel like a lot of things that I'm not impressed with is happening with the classic Speedy right now. And it's just kind of pissing me off. So yeah, I'm not including this in this video, but you can't go wrong with the Speedy. It's a classic bag, obviously, in whatever size, the 25, the 30. Um, I think people use the 35 as a travel bag. But um, yeah, I'm not putting this bag, just my personal opinion. But again, you can't go wrong with the Speedy. Um in your collection so that does it for today's video i hope you guys enjoy this video let me know what, what you do what louis vuitton item that you have um whether it's on this list or not i mean i really do think you can't go wrong with spending your money on what you want to spend your money on but this is just my personal opinion of things that i think um everyone should have if you're like a luxury lover um i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching if you did please give it a thumbs up hit the subscribe button down below if you're not already subscribed ring the notification bell as well so you get notified every time i upload a video and um thank you guys so much for watching i will catch you in the next one